Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the last 12 hours of the Support and Save Thor News February 2019 fundraiser. I've done these every month for the last three years, and that is how I have paid my bills and rent. Although this month it looks like I'm going to need a giant miracle or a bunch of little miracles because I'm $265 short. And this is probably the most scared I've ever been since doing this. So if you want to be my miracle and support and save me for all the hard work I've done over the last six years, I would love that. Um, hopefully I'm hitting rock bottom. Man, it's been a rough year and a half. Okay, now let's get to the weather. I'm surprised when I pulled up the weather, because yesterday, I don't know, I kind of worked on that one video and then panicked the whole day. To see this grow like that. Now the models have it kind of spinning off. Where did you go? Kind of loops around and then goes out. So right now it's not anything to worry about. But I was just surprised <clears throat> that it got that big. As you can see, it is causing some wind. It's about 60 miles an hour <clears throat> over off the east coast. Now we're looking at our pressure situation, and there's a giant low pressure system that's taking up like 25% of the entire Pacific, which is anomalous. Now we have a giant low pressure system here, and then here, and then we have the little one over the United States. California is going to continue to be getting rain for another day or two, technically all the way through up until Wednesday. And as you can see, the models are adding in a whole lot more snow around Oregon and Washington. There was no way there was this much blue over the last 10 days that I've been covering that storm. <clears throat> and then this is going to reload and re-explode over the United States. Now, these models haven't been very accurate, very far out. So take everything you see with a grain of salt. But we're going to continue to see our atmospheric river go from Mexico all the way up to Nova Scotia that is not going to stop and it is going to continue on now for a while it looked like Texas down into Houston might have a chance at some snow and sleet but now it looks like things are going to heat up we're going to get the torch and it's going to get warm for a lot of people so we're going to miss out on a snow day but this is our next big storm Technically, I think we're going to see another one when this pattern moves across. But this has the big storm for the 12th, which is going to move out over the East Coast. And then that pattern is going to continue to repeat. And so it's going to get pretty wet, wet and nasty for Texas all the way up through the East Coast over a two-week period. And as you can see, California is going to be getting hit with a couple more storms. They're going to get a few day break, but then it looks like they're going to be in a wet pattern as well. With the notice how the lows are coming and scraping down again and again, wave after wave after wave. <clears throat> so as you can see, there are a lot of severe weather crayons all over the map. And watch as our storm moves east over the next 48 hours and so see this even has 48 hours from now California is still getting rain but I guess that would make sense because that would be then late Tuesday night but this pattern is going to carry over and definitely be prepared for surprises this week <clears throat> somehow if I don't make my goal or something negative happens and you don't get much more out of me ever again I always refer you to cranky weather guy He's a really great guy, and he's as smart as they come when it comes to breaking down weather. Yes, he's kind of cranky, but that's awesome. And so I will leave a link to his blog. He always breaks things down uh, short-term, medium-range, and long-term. And so, yeah, we got a couple patterns. They're scraping up, and I think it's going to do hot, cold, hot, cold, hot, 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 hot for the next season out I know he broke down the 
the pattern a couple of days ago really well. Um, uh, where was it? I don't know. He tweets so much. I don't know if I'll be able to find it. Okay. And so, as you can see, we still have more moisture pouring into California. And watch as it moves across the United States. <clears throat> and this definitely caused problems in California with their mudslides, floods, infrastructure. As of right now, there haven't been that many reported deaths, which is good, in my opinion. But watch how the entire coast... I mean, the entire Atlantic is, is pretty cloudy, and that is the rain band we will be watching, although the models have it being pulled up into Alaska. <clears throat> and now, on this one, but watch how big the rain band is getting. Like, it is literally connecting all the way from down in the South Pacific, look, up through Texas, all the way across, and then up into England as it moves around the heat pattern of the magma so this is some pretty incredible stuff the sun is changing and the earth is changing and we as a collective are staying the same <coughs> all right so now we'll look at the regular gfs as the each model is different what the heck was that oh it's a new one just in time so as you can see, our storm is going to move. The models keep taking the majority of the big storm north into Canada, so you guys will have to watch out. But we'll definitely have to keep paying attention to that to see what it does. Because things have been wacky and wild all over. Okay, I'm going to do the last run. But this model is scraping a lot of that moisture up the east coast. But watch, this is now Monday, and so, you know, both models are agreeing that California is still going to be getting a lot of rain, uh, though probably not as heavy as on Saturday, and then you still have snow going through Oregon and Washington, and then the rain doesn't clear out of California till Wednesday, and then our storm has moved across the United States, so you'll be getting rain from Texas all the way up through, like, the Ohio Valley this takes the model lower for the weekend <clears throat> I would definitely plan on this storm this weekend being bigger than that that is my hunch and then as you can see the next storm moves into California by Sunday hopefully they will have dried out by then then we get moisture being pulled up from the Gulf Coast as it moves out the coast and then the same pattern repeats in this wave after wave pattern although the jeep and then so it looks like, yeah, the bulk of the heavy rain, that's a lot of storms for Texas and the East Coast over the next two weeks. Let me go to precipitation. Doo, doo, doo. Yeah, that is a, that's like 20 inches of rain for a giant swath from Louisiana all the way up through the middle of the United States of America. So that will definitely be something to watch out for. Uh, here's your big swath here, and it still has a ton of snow and rain up in the Sierras and parts of California. And we got to watch for that storm. Hopefully it won't bring a lot more rain to North Carolina. <clears throat> so that is your quick and easy under 10 minute report. Well, I haven't done one of those in a while. So I would just stay on top of the weather. It changes really fast. Check in on Cranky Weather Guy if you can. And if you can and want to be my miracle, I would love it. I've given everything I can to this channel to give you guys the truth, to do what I could to unite people, to stay above the politics. And uh, I don't know, it feels like they got me on the ropes, man. By talking to people for the last six years, I've attracted a lot of people who hate my guts and are really good hackers. So. Life's been pretty hard the last year and a half. <clears throat> and so, I'm so stressed out right now. I'm praying for a miracle. But if that doesn't happen, then... I guess I just crapped out on trying to be a great guy and do the right thing. 
never realized that Google and YouTube would turn into such a gangster. I guess I, but I didn't see a lot of things, you know. Anyway, I love you. And uh, no matter what, even if I lose my apartment, I'll be making videos <clears throat> as long as I can. And my landlady usually gives me an extra day, so I'll be probably... Who knows, man? Who knows? I've had such a run of bad luck for a year and a half. It's hard for me even to see any type of light at the end of a tunnel. So at the very minimum, if you can, pray for me. And if somehow I slip off the cliff and you guys never hear from me again, know that I did everything I could, okay? I love you guys. Peace out.